All right, see. Y'all, so I'm about to open up my second box from Marc Jacobs. Um, and I have to hurry up because my camera's going to die even though you're on here too. Um, I'm just cutting, cutting, cutting the box away right now. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. So what I have is here. Here's a beautiful yellow box again we have here. And in this yellow box, let me give you the specs first. So I got a Marc Jacobs bag. This is the large tote in the color Argan Oil. I paid $5.99 before taxes and $6.30 um, after. So $6.30. You feel me? Um, but yeah, six hundred thirty dollars for this bag. Um, originally, my battery just got on my camera, so this is all you got. Originally, y'all, I actually purchased the Mark Jacobs tote bag, um, the green one, and it was kind of like beachy material. And I decided to opt into sending that one back and spending the money. I didn't want to spend six hundred dollars, um, honestly, for a Mark Jacobs bag, but I couldn't beat it. Um, I needed something that I could travel for work with or like again just have like another form of luggage and it's huge y'all it can fit a lot of stuff um currently I have a like 18 inch macbook pro because I am a solutions engineer and so that is what we use at my company to get our work done so this bag fits it I've just been looking up online this one is leather and are you ready for the reveal I am more my speed this is it smells like a new car but it's a new bag it's just beauty if beauty had a look this would be it this is gorgeous oh yeah take all this off this baby is not going nowhere all the harbor off i'm not a reseller this is mine oh yeah okay so what you're looking at right now is the large mark jacobs tote bag Again, same thing um, as the other ones. The small and medium size have like little latches here so you can hook them. This one doesn't. So this one you literally have to just carry it like this or on your arms. I am 5'2", and as you see, it comes down right past my waist covering my bump seat. It is a nice size. Um, I can fit a lot of stuff in here. I'm excited. So on the back here, you have your Marc Jacobs. You have the style the tote bag location where it was produced in new york city in the year 1984 my baby about 11 years before i was born look at that and then the good thing about this bag that a lot of my other duffel bags and tote bags don't have is a closed sale compartment so now when i get things and put it in here pins loose ends they won't be as easy to come out if i open this up though on the side you'll see that it does have some openings they stuffed the mess out of this bag. You feel me? You hear me? Ooh. Glory to God. We do have a bags bag. A throwaway bag. Perfect. Because it is leather. So that's nice. This is something that we could put the bag in, of course, to avoid getting scratched and beat up. I'm happy about that. And more stuffing. I did call Mark Jacobs myself personally and ask them if they had um, any like inside like storage units and they told me no. So if you do get this bag, you have to order your own from Amazon. And what I mean is like storage organizer so that you can put in there your pins, makeup, all of that stuff. Um, the reason I got this one as well is they had a hunter green one that I was obsessed with because that is my favorite color. But the answer of that one was yellow. And the thing about me is I'm brown. So therefore, if I have makeup that accidentally spills out by any chance, the inside of my bag won't be ruined. Um, this is, and it can be wiped out, but I just, yellow stains, pen leaks, you know, it won't be as visible in here. So this one looks like it's going to have a lot of longevity, and I'm so, so super excited. Take this. The first trip that I'm going to go on with this one is my work trip end of month to San Antonio, Texas. So after that, I'll come back for a part two review and let you know how the bag stood up. I'll be taking this and my, um my away carry-on suitcase. So 
I'm feeling good. My bags are upgraded. I'm upgrading. I love it. So on the inside of this bag, though, there is a compartment here. It's two open ones. You can stick your phone or something in there, some pens, and then you have one that is sealed. But like I said, before I go out of town, I'm going to go ahead and grab the organizers, so that everything will be good to go. Let me grab the other bag to show you the difference and compare them to. And okay, so first things first, and I have two of them. I'll probably take just the one when I travel for work, but sometimes I do take both. They're both MacBook Pros, so they are thick and heavy. So in this bag, one easily goes in. Two easily goes in. Um, it is heavy, obviously, but on my shoulder, not so bad. Um, the hardware is upholding. You don't see any pudges within. So pretty solid. Like I said, I'll never have a situation where I'll probably take both of them. It'll so pop. yes, you're able to easily fit in a laptop. I could probably fit in here some shoes, so a change of shoes, which is perfect. It's not that I like to wear heels, but then we'll like walk to dinner after we meet. I'm in sessions, a pair of clothes. Maybe I could have all of that living directly within this bag. And as mentioned as well, resistant. So none of my stuff is going to fall out. Um, I'm very happy and excited about that. I was looking at the Tory Burch bag and a lot of people also have the Christian Dior bag. If y'all are using those for anything besides being cute, your stuff's gonna fall out. So invest in the Martin Jacobs tote bag. Um, yeah, so I wanted to quickly show you though the one that I'm sending back. This is the one I'm sending back again. This one is 6.30, this one was like 4.25 out the door. So you are, or three, cheaper. It was cheaper though. Um, and you could probably see why. Like it even like bends at the seam. Let me take my laptop out of this one. Let me show you the difference. But this one is a tote bag, boxy. This one's like a beach bag. Um, so kind of have the same design though. Just the material is just so different. This one's way more like malleable. Throw it, whatever the case may be. And this one's true leather. I would say that this bag right here could probably get dirty a lot. Um, I'd probably bring a lip roller if I had this bag. Just the material feels like it could attract a lot of things. And then I don't. I just didn't like it for what I was going for. I was going for more professional, established because it will be a work bag and I am professional and established. So I plan to get this bag though in the small just to have it on the side. It's super cute, um, but I would say for work, there's leather. Again, they do have this one in this color. Just the interior is yellow. So I kind of wish if it was like this, the interior was green, I would have grabbed it in a heartbeat. But that is my part one reviews of the Marc Jacobs tote bags. Um, and yeah, I'll be back for part two. A win is a win. Oh, a win is a win. I don't care what y'all say. A win is a win.